Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to self-host Vault Warden. Now Vault Warden is a kind of a, a redirection of Bitwarden. It's mostly a smaller kind of version of Bitwarden. As you know, Bitwarden is open source and they made Vault Warden as a way to host it and self-host it, um, keeping down some of the storage and RAM use and stuff like that. Essentially, it is, though, Bitwarden in all terms and uses. And today, we're going to be focusing on how to uh, self-host it. Now, self-hosting your own data is one of the best ways to stay private and secure on the Internet. And it's a little bit more trustworthy than relying on a different company to host um, your data. And we're going to be showing you the easiest way to do it because it can be tricky trying to figure out how to set up a reverse proxy and getting the SSL encryption and stuff like that for your domain. Luckily, we have a very easy solution for you today. Um, so we're going to walk you through that and show you some of the steps to get it started. Now, I've done this myself today and I did encounter some errors and I'm going to help you avoid some of these mistakes and how to fix them um, when you're going to install Vault Warden on your self-hosted server. First up, what we're going to be doing is getting a reverse proxy. You're going to need a reverse proxy um, to host your uh, Vault Water Warden server and we're gonna be using Private Router. Now Private Router is a pretty new product. In fact, it just came out last week. However, the company behind it, TorGuard VPN, has been around for quite some time. There aren't really that many alternatives out there to something like Private Router. The reverse proxy that it gives you is anonymous and it's not really trackable from that. It's also extremely privacy friendly compared to a lot of other things out there. And it's also affordable too. So the cool thing about Private Router is they not only give you this reverse proxy to set up Vault Warden, but you can even purchase products from them to help set up your own self-hosted server. So basically what they have on this website is they have what are called um, little computers, little server computers. And what you can install on these little bad boys is something called Unihost. That's what we're gonna be using today to set up your own self-hosted Vault Warden server. So guys, what are you gonna need exactly once again? Well, you're gonna need something like this. Um, you're gonna need your own little media server computer. And you could get these from Private Router. Um, use my link in the description and pin comment and use code Tom Spark. With that link, you should be able to get a best available discount for everything on this website and you'll help support me as well. I'm not sponsored by this brand or anything like that, but it is one of my best affiliates and it is the best option for reverse proxies and other things like hardware in this space. So basically you're gonna need something like this. Um, there's different options on the websites um, that you can buy. You wanna look at the Unihost web servers. So something like this, like I said, the Camerui. This is the one I have. I've been testing it out and it works great. And there are also more powerful ones that give you a little bit better speed and stuff like that. But even these ones are fine for most basic things. If you don't want to do this, you can also flash Unihost to your uh, PC, your server PC or something like that. It's going to be a little bit more tricky and these do come pre-flashed, which is nice. And it's just going to be the easiest way to set it up. Um, you can see here that you can see the uh, reverse proxy plans. And basically what you're going to want to do is pick one of these plans, depending on how many servers you want to start. Um, for most people, I'd recommend the starter host plan. Um, so this is where you're going to make your domain. And that's the domain you're going to be using for your Unihost server. Um, so go ahead and uh, check out here. Why is my fingernail hurting like that? You just pick the one you want here and type in your username. So basically what's going to happen next is that um, you're going to get your proxy, your reverse proxy service. And depending on if you did buy some hardware, you're going to get that as well in the mail. Now, once you have your reverse proxy and once you have Unihost, whether you got it pre-flashed on one of the devices from a private router or you decided to flash it to your own computer, we're going to get on to the next step. So guys, let's go back to the server and show you how to set things up for Vault Warden on your self-hosted server. This is basically the UI of Unihost, which is the front end of our server that we're going to be using to install apps and stuff like that. Um, and this has our reverse proxy. The, um, the, the domain and we're on there right now within the web browser. So this is definitely the easiest way to set up a combination of that reverse proxy and Unihost. There are other ways to do it, but it is a lot more complicated than what we're gonna be doing in this video. So guys, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna move me down here and we're gonna go to the administration tab. 
Um, so we're going to go down here, click on here, administration. We're going to enter an admin password. This is not the Unihost password, but it's an admin password uh, for your server. This can be found in the share password section. All right. So we filled in, in our end with an admin password. Now what we're going to go to is the application section. We're going to click install. And now we're going to search for Vault Warden. Pretty much what we're going to do here is we're going to want to install this. However, there's one step you need to do before to get this to work. Basically, what we're going to do is install a thing called Shell in a Box. Now, Shell in a Box is a way to kind of uh, kind of control the back end or of your uh, server. We're going to log in now, enter in the password for this is going to be not the admin password, but the admin the password for Unihost. And now we're going to go to SU, type SU. Password, you're going to want to enter in the admin password now, not the Unihost password. So the admin password for stuff like the applications. So you're going to have to be careful here not to mess this up because you're not going to be able to see. I would recommend making a password that's easy to type while also secure. Now, once you do get here, you're going to type apt remove rust c. So once we do that, we're going to remove this Rust stuff on the back end. And once this is done, we're going to be on our way to fixing the problem that was there. So now that we go to Vault Warden, we can click install and it's going to install perfectly onto your server. And it's going to be a hand. And once that is done, we're going to be able to find it as a thing just like mine. And remember, if it does have this little error here with the cache, you're just going to want to make a private window and go to it just like mine so it's still working here on mine and that's pretty much how you do it this is where you're going to get to uh at that last stage of the process so guys that's how to set up self-host bitwarden on your own server i think this is the easiest way to do it especially with that reverse proxy sold by private router you can even get those hardware boxes to uh, have a pre-flashed UB host experience that is plug and play pretty much. And if I could do it, you could do it too. Gain access to hosting your own stuff with your own password management and stuff like that. So anyways, guys, thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next video very soon.